everyone, it's Angela from Clad Fitty, and today I'm sharing how to make two types of ice cream sandwiches out of polymer clay. And the first one that I'm making is a Neapolitan style with chocolate biscuits or cookies. So to start out, I have a large ball of dark brown clay and I'm going to roll that out between two stacks of two popsicle sticks. Then next, I have a rectangular cookie cutter here and I'm going to cut out two horizontal pieces from the rolled out clay. and then peel away the excess and then remove them off my work surface just sliding a blade underneath them I'm then lightly tapping a toothbrush over the top so that it gives it some texture And then for the pattern on top, still with my piece being horizontal, I'm just using a dotting tool to poke little indents into it. So just starting on the left side, I'm poking one each into the two corners. And then one a little bit more further down in the center. And then I'm just going to continue them and alternate them. So two and then one and then two until I fill the cookie and I have something that looks like a domino. And finally, I'm using my needle tool to poke a hole directly in the center of the rectangle. And this will be for the eye pin to go into later on. I'm then repeating everything on the second one so that I have a matching pair. And then I'm going to bake them using my package's instructions, just so that they harden and it makes the charm a lot easier to assemble later on. So while those are baking, I'm moving on to making the three colored Neapolitan ice cream. So I have equal sized balls of white and translucent clay which are on the pretty large side and I'm going to mix the two together so that it forms one colour and then this is just so that the end result has a little bit of a translucency like real ice cream does. And then repeating the same steps for some light pink clay and also light brown. Then to make the ice cream layers, I've made two stacks of four popsicle sticks because I want the colours to be quite thick or wide. And if you'd like to know how I made them, I have a separate tutorial sharing how, which I'll leave a link to in the description box below. So with the guides, I'm just rolling the white ball out in between them. And then I've gone ahead and repeated the same steps with the pink and brown. So now I have a flat strawberry, vanilla and chocolate piece of clay and they're all the same height. So now I have the same rectangular cookie cutter from before and I'm going to cut out one piece from each colour. But before I do that, because the ice cream colours are all quite tall, I don't want the clay to get stuck and misshapen when I remove the cutter. So I have a little bit of corn flour or cornstarch and I'm just going to spread out a layer onto a piece of baking paper. Then just dip the cutter into it, making sure that it goes up the sides as well. And then just going ahead and cutting one rectangle out of each of the colours. So 
So now I'm brushing on some liquid clay just on top of the white and brown and this is to stick the pieces really well together. And then just stacking them up, starting with the brown on the bottom, and then the white. And then lastly, the pink goes on the top. Then I'm just using my needle tool to smooth the edges of the colours together so that there aren't any gaps. And then repeating that on all sides. I'm then placing it onto my work surface so that the lines are vertical and the short side is facing me and the colours are in the order of brown, white and pink. And now after the cookie or the biscuits are fully baked and cooled down, I'm placing one on top of the ice cream block, just doing this horizontally and doing this as a guide so that I can cut the ice cream down to the right size, just using my blade and cutting straight down. So now that that's cut, I'm painting some liquid clay onto the bottom of the cookies. And placing one onto the top and the bottom of the ice cream block. I'm then adding some texture to all the sides of the ice cream, dabbing all over the surface with a toothbrush. And now it's time to add the face, so just using a dotting tool to poke some holes for the eyes to go into. And then adding in balls of dark brown. And a tiny little U-shape for the mouth. Then for the cheeks, I'm brushing on some pink chalk pastel. And then finally to turn it into a charm, I'm inserting the eye pin. And I'm going to set the little guy aside to make the second ice cream. So now I'm making a vanilla flavoured one in between some vanilla wafers. And to make those, I've got a ball of some vanilla coloured clay and I'm rolling that flat between two stacks of two popsicle sticks. Then to give it that waffle texture, I've cut a circle out of the bottom of a textured plastic plate which has these little squares on it. I got mine from the $2 shop, but if you can't find this type, you can also make your own texture by making a mold out of scrap clay like this one. And I do have a tutorial sharing how I made one with larger squares using a plastic card, but for this style I've used the same method, but instead I've used a long thin blade to make the tiny little squares. And I'll leave a link to the tutorial in the description box below. 
So now with my textured little plate, I am placing it onto the top of the sheet of clay with the lines going in a crisscross diamond pattern. And then just pressing the textured impression into the clay by rolling over it with my rolling pin. And I'm still using the guides on the sides to help me roll it evenly. Then I'm just going to peel off the plate to reveal the texture. And then using the same cookie cutter in cornstarch, I'm cutting out two pieces horizontally. And then just peeling away the excess and then removing them off my work surface. I'm then also going to go ahead and poke the hole for the eye pin to go into and just doing this on one rectangle. So now to make it look cooked and golden brown, I'm brushing on a mix of yellow and brown chalk pastel. If you'd like to see how I make my shading mix, I do have a separate video sharing how, which I'll leave a link to in the description box below. And I'm just brushing this all over until it's a nice dark colour. Then I'm just going to repeat the steps with the second wafer and bake them in the oven using my package's instructions. And then in the meantime while they're baking, I repeated all the same steps that I did for the Neapolitan ice cream, except this time I used the same white and translucent mix to make all three pieces. And then after sticking the baked cookies on the top and the bottom, I'm adding on the face. And then finally to turn it into a charm, I'm inserting the eye pin. And then once they're both made, I'm baking them in the oven using my package's instructions. And then once they're fully cooled down, I'm securing the eye pins with some super glue. These little ice cream sandwiches are really fun to make. And you can also mix and match different combinations of the cookies and ice creams to make different varieties like these ones. And that's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!